What's up guys, we're back out here in the woods. Uh, we'll be in the clear cut, but it's uh, super windy. Um, you can probably hear it uh, blowing the trees and all that stuff, so I tried to come in the woods. Maybe it would uh, block some of the wind, but um, anyway, it's still loud in the trees, so I apologize if you uh, hear that a lot during the video. But anyway, what I'm gonna talk about is a uh, offset on a carbine, like an AR-15. So we're gonna look at what it is, uh, why it's important, and then we're gonna shoot some targets and show you what it looks like on paper. All right, so what uh, offset is, is the height of the sight over the barrel on an AR-15, the way it's set up. Like we have the original sights, it's about two and a half, 2.6 inches above the line of the barrel, right here to here. Um, this is a lower one third, so it's a little bit higher. I know there's some uh, scope mounts that go all the way up to like 1.9 inches above the rail. So you're getting you know pretty close to three inches of sight height over your, uh, your barrel. And the reason uh, that's important to remember is because if we're taking shots close range, uh, which most of us that own AR-15s, um, well, that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna be shooting out to 100 yards, hopefully. Um, so you know, it's gonna be inside of a house, inside of a building, something like that. So uh, we all know the zero, you know, if it's 50 yards, how it's gonna perform out to 100, 150, and then back to two, 225, something like that. But what a lot of us forget or just don't think about a lot is how the, uh, what the impact looks like from zero to 25. You know, five yards, 10 yards, those up close distances that we're probably gonna face uh, when we have to use this thing. So you might be thinking, you know, two and a half inches difference is not that big a deal you know you've got an eight inch circle right here to hit if you get somewhere that's good but you know if you're trying to hit the heart right here it's about the size of a fist if you're trying to hit the heart you know that's only four three and a half to four inches tall if you aim right in the middle you're going to miss below it or if you're trying to hit up here you know if you're law enforcement you got a hostage situation or something like that you're trying to hit somebody up here and flip the switch if you aim right between the eyes you're going to hit them in the jaw and you know, lots of people have been hitting the jaw and not going down. Uh, another thing, uh, especially if you're like law enforcement or military, if you've got limited sight availability, you know, if you can only see a little bit, if you can only see the top of their head or, you know, their shoulder, and you know, you say a shoulder, that's not gonna hurt them that much, yeah, but it's not gonna help them either. So, you know, sometimes you gotta shoot what you can. And you know, if, they're, if it's behind a concrete wall or something, and you've only got a little bit, you've got a small window to put your bullet in, you don't want to hit low and hit the concrete and then you know defeat the whole purpose of taking the shot in the first place and another thing um, that kind of goes along with that is shooting the uh, the wall in front of somebody you know if you're shooting over a wall or over the hood of a car you know you might you might be a little bit off the uh, the wall or the hood and you've got your sights lined up at one height you know right above the hood you're trying to stay low you got to remember that you're two and a half to three inches low on your barrel so if you think you're good here you squeeze the trigger bullets going through the hood of the car or hitting the wall or whatever you're uh, shooting behind same thing with corners if you're coming around a corner you know if you tip the gun like this there's going to be an offset um, you have the wall your sight might stick out of the wall but your barrel's not so you got to remember that either go farther out or keep the gun straight Either way, you got to think about it. And one thing all these uh, situations have in common, we're accountable for our misses. If we take a shot, uh, we're accountable for where that bullet goes, what that bullet hits. Can't remember who said it, but uh, somebody said every bullet has a lawyer attached to it. That's something good to uh, think about and to remember, especially uh, you're probably not going to think about it when the time comes to shoot, but just keep it in your mind and it'll help you practice and help you train. All right, so I got a little target set up here. This is uh, some hand-drawn targets pretty much to scale uh, it's a little bit smaller than me i'm about 6'2 so i'm pretty big so i made them a little bit smaller but anyway here's a face it's got a triangle it's about four inches tall three inches wide it's got the eyes and the tip of the nose right here this is pretty much where you're going to be wanting to aim um, to hit the soft spot the uh, brain stem the bottom of the brain uh, put the orange here just so i can see it when i get back to like 15 25 yards um, and then down here you got a little heart set up. The heart's about the size of the fist, which that is. It's about four, three and a half, four inches tall. The same thing, about three and a half, four inches wide. Limbs falling out of trees. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to shoot them uh, from three yards. That's pretty up close. Um, I'll probably go back to 25 yards. Most, 
you know, home defense, whatever, it's probably gonna be 10, 15 yards. A lot of people's houses aren't that big. They don't have that long of a stretch to shoot. Uh, so maybe 15 yards is probably the maximum on that. But uh, we'll go back 25 yards and shoot a few there just to see, um, you know, if you have to shoot outdoors or in a big building, what that might look like too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my dot in the center of the orange. Cause that's, you know, if you're not thinking about offset, that's where you're gonna aim, right in the middle of that. And I'll show you where the bullet hits. And we'll see if we can get it in the triangle or in the outline of the heart. All right, I got my 10.3 uh, SBR. This is set up for 50 yards and it's a uh, lower one third. So even out to 25 yards, a lot of these shots are probably gonna be low. Even if you had like a 100 yard zero or a 25, they're, they're gonna be maybe an eighth of an inch or so off uh, from these close of, this close of a distance. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is, uh, the only gun I have right now is set up for 50 yards. Well, I've got a, a seven and a half inch pistol, but um, you know this is kind of in between that and a 16 inch, so I'm gonna shoot it with this. Uh, first, I'm gonna go back to three yards, and um, I'll put one shot here and one shot here, and we'll see what it looks like. That's three yards. I don't know if you can tell the bullet hit right here, right below the lip. And this one hit a good one inch below the bottom of the heart. There's still this big artery right here that feeds uh, through the torso down to the, the pelvis and goes to the legs. If you hit that, uh, it's probably gonna be gushing blood pretty fast. But still, if we're aiming for the heart, that's what we wanna hit. So anyway, that's three yards. That's probably the most extreme um, you know offset distance because I'm so close um, so I'm gonna back up to 10 yards and we'll shoot this same target again at 10 yards and we'll see what that looks like so as you can see from 10 yards you know we're still hitting uh, a good inch or two probably two inches low on both of these. And that's, I mean, that's 30 feet. If you think about it in foot terms, that's 30 feet. How many of our houses, uh, you know, have a hallway 30 foot long or have a room 30 foot wide? So, you know, if we're trying to hit something really small, that close to distance, that's something we gotta think about. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably jump back to 25 yards and we'll shoot this one over here, it's the same thing. And uh, we'll see what that looks like at 25 yards. All right, things are starting to look a little better from 25 yards. See so right here, we're at the top of the nose. Um, I go ahead and say it's about an inch and a quarter low. Um, right here, we're at the very bottom edge of the heart. I hit just inside the bottom line. Um, same thing, about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half low. So you can see the, the difference between a, a three yard shot, a, five, a 10 yard shot, and a 25 yard shot. And then at 50, of course it would probably be in here in the orange. Uh, this is confirmed at 50, hitting dead on. So like I said, at 50 yards, if I shoot it, they'll hit right where I'm aiming. Now I will say uh, on these, these eye box shots, they're probably a little low anyway, because I put the dot a little low. It should probably be right between the eyes. It's about a half inch low anyway. But regardless, uh, you get the picture of how low things are gonna be on offset um, from this short a distance. All right, so since, we're, uh, since I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what, what shooting over or around a, uh, an obstacle or a barricade looks like. If you don't uh, take into consideration your offset, what you're gonna see, I'm gonna shoot a hole through the top and end up shooting a hole through the side uh, because of just the difference between the, the line of sight of the, the dot and the line of the bullet. So here we go. First, I'm gonna go over the top. I'm gonna get the dot just over the top and we'll see what uh, where the bullet hits. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm an idiot because I didn't realize 
that's a foam that's a foam board and this is a 10 and a half inch AR it's got a lot of blast now that I don't have a target um, anymore to shoot we'll just kind of recap some things the offset the distance between the line of sight and the barrel um, why it's important because you can see at close range you're going to be hitting about that far low you know if you need to hit somebody here you're going to hit them here if you need to hit them here you're going to be below uh, one more quick little thing about body armor you know your body armor stops right here so if the bad guy has body armor soft armor hard armor whatever uh excuse me so if your bad guy has body armor whether it be uh, soft armor or plates whatever it stops right here you want to hit above that well, if you aim here, your bullet's going to hit the armor. It's not going to do any good. All right, so that's what uh, offset on a carbine looks like. Uh, a little bit about what it is and uh, what it looks like at different distances on a target. So just remember that when you're practicing training. Just remember your offset. Uh, everything's going to hit a little bit low uh, until you get to your zero distance, whether it's zero, uh, 25, 35, 50, or 100. Remember what your zero is and remember that everything's going to hit a little bit low until you get out to that distance. If you like the video and you want to see a few more, uh, go ahead and subscribe. If not, just at least watch one more while you're here. Um, click the bell, the little notification thing. That way you know when new videos come out. I'm trying to put them out once a week uh, to help you guys out make it a little more consistent. So click the bell, like, and do all the other cool guy stuff that helps me out.